Welcome everybody to another exciting edition of Top Hat Chat with me, Orb, the Top Hat Gaming Man, and Street. Today we will be talking about one hit wonders in the games world. Like the final countdown. Oh, what, the film? The music song. The music song? <laughs> yes. Oh, I love how you know that's a one hit wonder despite never having listened to music. Yeah, yes, I, just, I did You just that. read that one day. Yeah. I must have done, because I don't know how I know that. <laughs> did you know who it was by? <laughs> no. Europe. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I knew that was coming. Oh. Um, so, okay. Yeah, so, so one hit wonders in gaming. Uh, the whole idea is basically uh, a really popular game that come out and was either the most well received in its series and then the sequels were just seen as nothing or a great game that never received a sequel at all. Yeah. Oh, I'd like to start with Plock. Plock. You Plock. would go with Plock. I love Plock. Yeah, I've never played that. Plock. To be fair, Plock, we played it on stream, I'd never heard of it. Um, and we played it on stream, one of the first streams we did. I think it's the first completion run you did on stream, um, on our streams. Uh, what, do you remember what website that is? Uh, Twitch.com forward slash... Dot TV. Dot TV even, sorry, forward slash the Top Hat Chat. That, that is the one. Yeah. Yes, Twitch.tv forward slash Top Hat Chat. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, um, yeah it's one of the first uh, full playthroughs we ever and did. And I pretty much had to do it through necessity, because you hasn't you hasn't got a save feature. Yeah. Oh, and, yeah. Um, Does it have a pause? It has a pause. Could yeah. you left it on for a week. That's true. I did that with a PlayStation 1 once. I went on holiday to Ibiza for two weeks and left my PlayStation 1 on the whole time because I lost my memory card. Did it just, did it just like burn a hole in the car? It was, it was fine. And it was a chipped one. When I was in, nice. uh, on holiday in Greece this summer, I left my Game Boy on for nine days. What, connected to the mains? Or? No, just left on for nine days. So modern batteries have got unlimited power. In comparison <laughs> to uh, back then, can you stop with the Star Wars references? Why not? You've really been picked. I know. I was supporting him. I like that. One. Anyway, we're <laughs> <laughs> we are, um, we're definitely veering off topic. Um, Plock was your one. We're going to go back to Plock. Um, yeah, Plock is incredible. It is an incredible platformer. It's dynamic. It's Rayman before Rayman, um, mm. but better because nobody really likes Rayman. Let's be honest. Although it's my favourite Dustin Hoffman film, I would say. <laughs> I can't believe I laughed at that. Which, um, which also is a one-hit wonder. There was never a second Rain Man. Yeah, no, no sequel no. to Rain Man. <laughs> Why? It should have been. Why? I was just What would a sequel to Rain Man be about? Rain Man. <laughs> uh, Rain Man 2. El Electric Boogaloo. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't know. I don't know. He'd have gone back to the casino. For a long time, there was only one Rayman game for a little while, wasn't there? Only at least one Rayman 2D side scroller. Yeah, it took them a long time to get a sequel out for that. Yeah. Um... My pick for a one-hit wonder mm -hmm. is uh, from the PC world, from desktop gaming, Okay. and it's Theme Hospital. Oh, see, Theme Hospital's a hard one, because there is a second one. No, there's not. There's, there's, there's kind of a second one. There's Two Point Hospital, which has just come out, and it is fantastic, and it's it really good, and it is a spiritual successor, <sighs> but it's not a bullfrog produced... Theme Hospital 2. Theme Hospital 1 has just that. Objection. Overruled. Theme Park <laughs> is surely a, a, a... I mean, Theme Hospital is surely a sequel to Theme Park. Mm, I would say they're part of, like... The, the same genre. The same genre. Yeah. They're a management sim, but this is a hospital management sim, and yeah, the one is a Theme Park management sim. It's kind of in the name. Yeah. Mm. They haven't got Theme... Uh, theme Hospital 2... The theme park. But surely, it's a, <laughs> yeah. surely it is That's a sequel. Because when you think about it, theme park, theme parks are a thing. The theme hospital insinuates that it is literally a sequel to how do you theme park. How do you spell that? What theme? Yeah. F E M E. <laughs> theme hospital. <laughs> theme hospital. That sounds. Theme out. hospital. <laughs> God damn, that hurts. Yeah. Um, um, yeah. But, they, they never bought out another one, and I know it's not a game that you would usually think about as deserved. It has deserving. got a sequel, Roller Coaster Tycoon. That's, We've been through this. Well, that's a completely different company, and it's a different game. That would be more. If you would have said it was a sequel to Theme Park, Roller Coaster Tycoon, that is, I would have gone, yeah, I can see where you're getting confused there. Right, Theme Park World, that's a sequel to. Theme uh, Park? Uh, theme yeah. Park World is a sequel to Theme, theme Hospital. No, because you had Theme Park, then you had Theme Hospital, then you had Theme Park World. Well, so, so, so Red Dead Redemption, Redemption 2 is the sequel to GTA 5? Pretty much, yeah. No, it's it not! Is. Oh, we're through the looking glass. Oh. Okay, let's move on to another game. 
I can't win. Let's move on. Who, who um, hasn't made a choice yet? Yeah, me. Um, I mean, you got to throw out Rystar. That's a sequel to Sonic the Hedgehog. Same developers, looks the same, plays similar, but has subtle differences to make it a sequel. But, we're, but we're, we're with Rystar, you don't have to go fast. That's what I'm saying, subtle differences. Mm. That's not a subtle difference, that's a complete change <laughs> in dynamic. Yes, yeah, complete design shift. Yeah. Rystar's a different game. So is Knuckles Chaotix, that's a complete different design shift as well. That's why it's not called Sonic Chaotix. It doesn't have to have Sonic in the name for it to be a sequel. Mm. Most of them do. <laughs> mm. Don't know, I don't know about this one. Yeah, I think I think you're clutching at straws yeah. to try and claim that there are sequels to things that there aren't. Well, so yeah. There are sequels to everything because there are definitely games that are similar. Yeah, is a ro- is Juice uh, Class a spin-off different to a sequel? Yeah, I would say a spin-off is not the same as a sequel. Yeah, hmm. I get what you're saying. In a way, this is. I'd say it's like like it's a spin-off. It's like a separate branch of the main tree. Yes. Yeah, Star Wars is a bit confusing. There's a bit of prequels and sequels and bits they've stuck in between. Mm. Yeah. So. I mean, I haven't played Rise Star, so I don't really know much about it. It's just like a platformy game. It's, it's decent. It's very, very well received. Um, I'm glad he's gone. Um, uh, but yeah, never, never. Who had does that game. character look like to you? Just, there we go. I just shoved you over a little bit. There we go. Um, yeah. It, I don't some thing off a 1990s Capri Sun. Yeah, but look, at, he looks like Sonic, but as a star, doesn't he? I mean, it looks like if someone tried to draw Sonic, but they had never seen him. Yeah. He's got, like, spiky bits. Yeah. Um, Wears running shoes. Has he's got, like, like, skinny little legs. Gloves, doesn't he? Like, and yeah. gloves, yeah. Is it actually by the same design crew? Yes. Interesting. What's the, is the music good? It's all right. I think the game's better than any of the Sonic games as well. Mm. It's not. It's the trip. best Sonic game of all, actually. Apart from Sonic One. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Which is the best Sonic game? Mm. Uh, no, do we have any others? Well. There's loads, but we, it's choice trying to come up with, isn't it? Um, um, plumbers don't wear ties. Well, that might not be the case. There could be yeah. a sequel on the horizon. <laughs> there could very well be. A uh, yeah. On the horizon, um, you you come up with the idea. No, 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 no. We will. We, this, this is until the worldwide launch. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah we'll, we'll keep we'll keep it that quiet. Yeah, that all right. Let's, Despite the fact that we told everybody on there's um, only like forty people on that on our Twitch that, channel. <laughs> that's twitch.tv forward slash stop our chat. They're, they're not important. Don't worry about them. Don't let them. They won't know tell that. anyone. They watch they won't this. Tell <laughs> okay. Apologize. Yeah. Yeah, don't 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 Apolo- spoil no, it. Apologise no, to the people. I don't want any of you spoiling this project before it even gets off the ground. A, a, a apology just can't be formed. Yeah, okay. It's just like your body's like no, n- no. <laughs> <laughs> so which other games? <laughs> Shadow of the Colossus. Night Trap. Night Trap. So are, we, so are we just naming them? Yes. Now? Shadow of Colossus. Night Trap. I mean, Gold Knight technically. What's that game where people have to say something until they lose? Games that need a sequel, and you have to name. Oh one of yeah, yeah. I think that's just like a. I don't think there's an official name for that game. I just think. Should we try that then? No, I've run. No, out. because I would, I would be stuck. Oh. Sewer Shark. So you, you yeah. can't play it with yourself. Tropic <laughs> Thunder in Paradise. Rich is always <laughs> playing with himself. <laughs> uh, don't. Diddy Kong Racing, that was one that Diddy we... Diddy Kong Racing, yeah, that's about. one that we discussed briefly beforehand. Diddy Kong Racing didn't get um, a sequel, and it, again, it's incredibly well received. Um, so, why, I suppose? It's, it's, it's because of the deal with um, Rare and Nintendo fell through, because another really obvious one as well, for the same reason why it hasn't got a sequel, is um, Conker's Bad Fuel Day as well. Yeah, I, that is such a shame that we never got a second Conkers, but um, they could have put it on the Xbox because Nintendo didn't only they. I know they made a, they made a, a remake, didn't they? With yeah. enhanced graphics, but obviously, it, oh, I know it didn't sell well because apparently the Xbox version sold even worse than really? the Nintendo sixty four version, which is very amusing because the Nintendo sixty four version cost a fortune, and the Xbox version, despite being an enhanced version, is worthless. <laughs> it's yeah. worth like ten pounds. <laughs> well, that just shows you what Nintendo fanboyism is all Although truly it, about. It, it was it? Um, a really big thing on like that was the main reason to buy the rare replay disc. Mm, that's true. Yeah, but it was the old crappy version. It wasn't the yeah, it was original it was. Xbox version. I will say the rare version, yeah. ironically, which. I, not worth money. I played Conker's Bad Fur Day not that long ago, sort of um, talking about it, and it's not aged very well. Of course it hasn't. 
Like, nothing, um, nothing about the Nintendo 64 has aged well. It's a horrible platform it's, today. It really it's is. that whole thing again of the Nintendo 64 3D stuff. Most of them have got cameras that don't work the way that you want mm-hmm. them to. And they're not as intuitive as they are now. So going back to play them, it just doesn't feel right. Well, well we mentioned GoldenEye as not having a sequel. And yeah, I mean, it technically did about... have sequels, but they just... Yeah, they're not the same. They were awful. They just didn't work. And well, you got Perfect actually, Dark. They did bring out perfect that... Dark. Well, I was just about to say, they did bring out that weird random GoldenEye shooter, actually. We were wrong. They did bring out GoldenEye on the Xbox 360 yes, they did. and PS3, which was and just weird. I never played it in Wii. But you said Perfect Dark there. Perfect Dark is probably one of the only N64 games that is a shooter that's 3D that's aged tremendously. Perfect Dark still looks good. Very playable still. Good fun. It's great. It's so much better than GoldenEye. Yeah. Like, it's so much better than What GoldenEye. came out first? Perfect Dark or Halo? Do we know? Perfect Dark? I don't know. Well, no, it's got to have been Perfect Dark, yeah. actually. Yeah. Perfect Dark was on the Nintendo 64. Yeah, I know, but there's, there are some crossovers in history, aren't there? But yeah, I but the just Xbox about... didn't come out at uh, the same time that the N64 was... Yeah, but Perfect Dark came out when the Nintendo 64 was on its deathbed. It was the end of the Xbox life. Came time, out yeah. just, it's funny and Halo we... was a launch title, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah it so was. They, they would have come out near enough the same time. I mean, it's funny that we're talking about this in 2018, which really has been uh, right in the middle of this little phase of rehashing and revisiting <laughs> like the past like we you know red dead redemption 2 fantastic but i never played red dead redemption and went i really want a sequel to this game yeah or a prequel i never thought i wanted another red dead but not redemption 2 yeah and they've done that you know they're remaking everything in cinema now uh, and tv they're revisiting ev- almost everything did you ever want a han solo star wars spin-off film no i didn't Honestly, I loved Han Solo. I didn't go, I want a film that's entirely Han Solo. I to be fair, I, w- I was interested by it. By the time it actually came out, I was like, I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, there's worse examples around than that as well. Worse culprits. Like, whoever would have wanted a Joker film or a Venom film? I want a Joker film. There is a Joker film, isn't there? Yeah. And there's a Venom film as well. And um, Yeah, I've not seen it. Yeah, a film uh, about the villain. It's to, just... to be fair, Venom. Venom's not a villain. First of all, yes, he was a villain. No, if you actually know the um, thing about Venom, is that he takes on the wills of the host. So if he takes over, if he's if he's hosted by somebody that is a bad person, then he takes on their yeah. Is it Eddie Brock in the new film? Or is it? I don't know. I so is seen. Peter Parker a bad person then? No. So if Peter Parker's not a bad person, how come it turned him into a twat in the film and the anime when he put because the Venom on? Well, I'm talking comic law. Yeah. That doesn't count. Are you talking about Spider-Man no, that's, 3? That's, people don't read that's comics. the bit that people does watch films and watch Are you talking about the film, film Spider-Man 3? Yeah. The... That's because it was it took over Tobey Maguire, who is a massive bellend. It's that amazing yeah. I think so. He turned into emo, oh, yeah. Tobey Maguire. Yeah, gave him confidence. It was awful to yeah. watch. Yeah. Thinking he was God's gift to women and could suddenly dance, even when he wasn't wearing it. Oh, yeah, I can't, I can't do it. What about the um, cocky attitude into Spider-Man then? Love the cocky mm. attitude, man. Spider-Man. Do you know what I'm talking about? It's like the new Spider-Man. I like that a lot. But it turned him into a dick as well, didn't it? <laughs> <laughs> it did. So how can Venom suddenly be a baby face, a blue eye? Because he's black and black to cool at the moment. Like black, like, you know, that dark kind of eeriness is cool again. Yeah. So, they, so that anti-hero approach, it's like Stone Cold come back again yeah I don't like it <laughs> well you don't like much no. <laughs> these are facts this could be a whole other video yeah, actually, I was about say, how much I hate these Marvel films I go, oh, <laughs> well we, we might save that for a, like an off topic discussion one day because we veered massively off and we're coming to the end of our time so thank you very much for joining us for this week for our discussion let's have one game that we wish had a sequel that doesn't have a sequel start with you uh, well one that's already been said it's got to be Conquer Conquer a decent conquer too. Pluck. Uh, I'm going to go for Theme Hospital. So, so you've got Two Point Hospital, you greedy bitch. Listen, no, I want Theme Hospital too, not Two Point Hospital. <laughs> so Theme Point Hospital, Pluck. Theme Point Hospital. Yeah, no. that's what it should be called. Pluck conquers Theme Hospital. That could An be amalgamation. A, yeah, that, I could like. be, that could definitely be a game. Mm. Definitely. Again, thank you very much for joining us. You can you can join us every Saturday evening at nine a uh, nine p.m. 
GMT. U- GMT. That's right. Now, we, yeah. we don't live in America. So I was about to say like one of those um, time yeah. zones that I don't understand. UK time. Yeah, UK time. 9 p.m. every week that weekend on Saturday at uh, uh, www.twitch.tv forward slash top hat chat. Uh, I'm sure there's a bunch of links below this video that you can click on and find us elsewhere. Yeah, there is. Uh, we will see you again very soon. Yes. Bye. Join us for the most entertaining thing on the whole of the information superhighway. Yeah. Cheerio. Top Hat Chat is partly funded by the fantastic support we receive on Patreon. So I would like to give thanks to the following people Michael Keneally and Ben Sainty, both for supporting the Top Hat Trust. And all of our other patrons. Yeah. Also a huge thank you to our God tier patron Stuart McDermott. We salute you sir. So if anybody else wants to support our fantastic Patreon. Then there is a link for you in the description. Ta ta and farewell.